Um, topic number one and something that's kind of come out of the blue that no one really expected. I, I think not anyway. I, I assume not. Um, Lionel Messi, the um, one of the greatest players in the world, top two, right? You could probably interchange Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo depending on your taste of players and what you like to see. Um, in your superstar football players have decided that his time has come up at Barcelona. He wants to move. He wants to go somewhere else. He's decided he actually wants to leave. This happens quite often whenever Barcelona have like a bit of a lacklustre season in the Champions League, a lacklustre effort in the La Liga. There always tends to be rumours around Messi and his future. Um, of course, it feels like um, it makes sense because I think Messi's move was probably three years too late. I think the era of the no, I think the era of the individual superstar sort of like steering a team to glory has been and gone. I think now in the like in the kind of um, in the vein of what Liverpool did with the league and Premier League and what what kind of um, obviously Bayern Munich have done with the Champions League and to certain parts Real Madrid with the La Liga. Um, teams now are about it's about the teams. It's about the squad depth. It's about your ability to um, keep the pressure on. Um, or to essentially swap out a poor performer for somebody equally as good. That's where the top teams separate themselves, right? If your Perisic is not performing, you've got Coleman to come on and vice versa. Um, then you've got Sane and Nabry fighting for two for one position. That's where I think top teams are really starting to separate themselves and really starting to collect big trophies. I think the area of like having a Messi in a pretty substandard Barcelona team and him single-handedly pulling them over the line to win the Liga, to win Copa del Rey, to win Champions League is gone. You can't do that. You may be able to achieve that here and there, fluke, a little anomaly in time. But I think by and large, you need to build a team and a squad around these superstars so that if they do get injured or if they're not performing, you have other people that can step up. And I guess with Barcelona's case, um, mismanaging of funds to their level, like, you know, United fans such as myself like to complain about our lack of, um, our lack of nous when it comes to the market. But um, Barcelona have had some pretty epic um, struggles in terms of the players they've signed, right? Um, De Jong hasn't been a success really, mostly based on the position he's played, but they paid a lot of money for him. Obviously, Dembele's not been a success. Griezmann's not been a success. Then you think about all the strikers they've signed that haven't really um, f um, kind of uh, lived up to the potential of eventually taking away the number nine shirt from Suarez. That hasn't happened. Suarez has essentially run himself into the ground and lost his pace over time, which was probably one of his strongest assets, apart from his control and his finishing ability. His ability to run in behind players, run in behind defenders, um, you know, was really kind of one of his real, real strong suits. And now he's lost that. He essentially has turned into like a penalty box striker. And, you know, uh, Barcelona probably don't need that kind of luxury at the moment, especially with his advancing ages. So it makes sense that Messi would think, you know what, now's the time to leave. And if there's ever been an asterisk next to Messi's career, it would be that he's been a one club man. It would be that he hasn't actually necessarily tested himself in other leagues. I think there is a weird conglomerate of people out there who think La Liga week in week out is easy I don't think that's true I think we see whenever a team outside the top two top three faces an English side in the Champions League or Europa League they do give us a bit of a test they give us a run for their money I think maybe the intensity and the power of course in the Liga isn't the same as it is in the Premier League but I think technically or as footballers the Liga is as good as any league out there um, but I just think after a while, you lose your motivation. I think we've seen with Messi in the last couple of seasons, he's not really cut the most um, enthusiastic figure on the pitch. Um, he walks a lot anyway during the, during matches, if you watch cameras that are specifically trained on him. But it feels like they went above and beyond. It feels like he was doing it a little bit more often this season, especially in the previous game against Bayern Munich. Um, when Barca faced Bayern Munich, sorry, he didn't really look like he was... Um, up for it as soon as it went as soon as it went past you know over four goals he kind of resigned himself to never really trying to recover that game in any way shape or, or form and now the news has come out unfortunately for other Premier League fans that Messi's chosen to go to Man City and um, if you're a, if you're a supporter of any club in the Premier League that's competing for trophies or dare I say competing for the champ for the Premier League title you should be very afraid man this is bad news for the whole entire league. If anything, being objective, I'd say Messi's decision to go to City, if this is true, um, supposedly this Marcelo Bachelor guy, Bachelor, sorry, guy was the person that broke the news about Dembele and a few other people. He's very close to Barcelona, has a really credible sources there. So when he says that, unfortunately, it's definitely going to be true. Um, the issue at hand is that it's actually the best decision for him to make. 
for of all the clubs that he could have gone to, I think as a football purist, it would have been amazing to see him play at PSG. I think a front three of Mbappe, Neymar and Messi would just have been ridiculous. Was that Eminem? It would have been absolutely insane to see all three of those players interchanging, playing as a false nine um, and just tearing the, obviously, the uh, league onto pieces, but most importantly, the um, the Champions League. I think that would have really stepped him up a level. Um, of course, you've got clubs like United who co- could be in for him. I guess we have the clout and the prestige, but I don't think the money's there, as we've seen with the protracted transfer saga with Jadon Sancho. I just don't think we have the money to buy a player like him or to even pay his wages. Um, and if anything, it'll probably do us more harm than good signing a Messi anyway in general. I think we have a lot more bigger problems in terms of infrastructure to club to deal with as opposed to going to sign a player like Messi. And um, that's really it, really. Yeah, He could have easily, he could have maybe pulled the ultimate Judas and went to Real Madrid, but I don't think he would do that. He doesn't really strike me as having the kind of Luis Vigo temperament. He does seem a bit more of a... Um, he probably does seem maybe a little bit more agreeable than the Figo, I guess, in that regard. So it probably does make sense. He's going to go work underneath Pep Guardiola, who he maybe he wasn't the most successful um, period of his career in terms of winning trophies, but it was the time when he possibly did play some of his best football as an individual and as part of a team. You know, that's when I remember Messi being at his pomp, right? Because nowadays it feels as if like, you know, especially when, um, <coughs> especially when, um, the former manager was there before Kiki. Um, what's his flipping name? Ugh. The former manager that was there prior, I felt as if underneath his stewardship, it was just like pass the ball to Messi in the final third. There wasn't any kind of uh, pattern of play that would result in the final ball landing to Messi, right? That's I think what um, that's essentially what Pep Guardiola did, didn't it? He built a plan or a team around Messi, but also he created a system that would result in the ball ending up in certain areas of the pitch, whether it was far back, or whether it was a left backs, whether it was um, right on the wings, whether it was in a box and around the box. There were these balls that end up having to be somewhere so that people could latch onto them. So if it was a Messi or it was another player, then so be it. But I think that would probably be the best way to him to go forward. Man City obviously play possession based football. They dominate most possession of their games, 70% and up. And, you know, this, the kind of profile of their player they, they sign is similar to a Messi. Um, you've got a lot of Spanish players there, a lot of foreign players there. Um, it just makes complete sense, do you know what I mean? And, and as we've seen with a lot of these South American players, a lot of the enjoyment of football, a lot of the joy they get out of it comes from their ability to obviously play football, but also the happiness that their family feel living in a place that they're living in. So if Messi's partner doesn't feel comfortable in where they're living, they feel as if they're not making friends, um, you know, they don't speak the language that work that great, it's going to be an issue about him performing on, on the pitch. So if he really does kind of owe it to himself. If you are going to make this change late in your career, it has to be perfect. You can't get it wrong because he probably hasn't got many moves left after this, right? He probably... I don't know, it depends what you look at, but I would say he's probably at the top level, got what? Maybe three more seasons left in him, <coughs> depending. Obviously, he's not as like genetically, physically gifted as like uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, but I still think he's got the intelligence um, to do a good job at a high level for a long time. I kind of look at him like what, not, not to compare him, but I think it's similar to what happened to Ryan Giggs. Ryan Giggs started off his career at United as like a flying winger, right? Or that's what he was kind of best known for. And then over time, when his pace sort of um, left him, he became a really cultured centre midfielder in some regard, you know? Not obviously combative or up and down the pitch, but in terms of delivering balls behind the back line, over the top, feeding it through the channels, like, he was pretty decent. And I think Messi's got, you know, far more technical ability than Ryan Giggs. So imagine what he could do if he drifts in inwards and stop hanging out on the left or right hand side. So interesting to go forward. I think, again, um, for other teams in the Premier League, it's basically over. If you're trying to win the Premier League, there's no point. Um, Man City have definitely won it if they end up signing Bus. If they end up sending Messi, it's completely over. Um, again, because I just think, you know, Guardiola's made... It's not going to be a one-man team. They've got a lot of threats all over the park in that side. Um, he's definitely going to make it be, a, in effect, a place where, you know, they play a certain type of football and it ends up in Messi's feet. But it's not going to be just left to him alone to win the games. And I think um, the competitive nature of the Premier League, the fact that a lot of defenders will actually relish playing against him, right? They're going to want to stick the boot into Messi, kind of have that as part of their legend, part of their law. I think it'll bring the best out of him. I think we won't just see the best out of Messi, like being, you know, um, really challenged and hurt 
by big burly Premier League defenders trying to make a name for themselves and him sort of, you know, hurdling the challenges and popping balls through people's legs. I think it's going to be beautiful to watch, man. I really cannot wait to see um, Messi in the Premier League if that does happen. Again, if it doesn't end up in the Premier League, next place I'd like to see him is probably PSG, you know, just as a final football. But Man City looks like the fair and the most logical sort of option to go to if you're a Messi.